Welcome to Nursing School Explained in this video about atorvastatin that is one of the most commonly prescribed medications in the US. And atorvastatin belongs to a class of medications called HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, otherwise also referred to as statins. And so the indications to use atorvastatin are hyperlipidemia, but mostly we're interested or it is used for the primary prevention of cardiovascular disease with patients that have multiple risk factors such as diabetes, hypertension, and coronary artery disease we know because we know that hyperlipidemia can lead to so many complications here. So as for an action, as the name or the class of the medication tells us, it inhibits the HMG-CoA um, which is involved in the early synthesis of cholesterol. So side effects are rhabdomyolysis, which is a major, major risk factor or side effect that we have to be aware of. And that is one of the things that you really absolutely have to know about. It can also cause abdominal cramps and an elevation in liver function. So we need to stay on top of those. So um, for nursing considerations and patient teaching, we want to check a lipid panel about four to six weeks after the patient starts to see if the medication is working. We also want to check the liver functions before and about four to six weeks after the start because we know it can affect those. And then we want to educate our patient if they develop any kind of muscle pain and to check with their provider, of course, and then check a CK level because of this risk for rhabdomyolysis. With any kind of statin, we want to also tell our patients to avoid grapefruit juice because of the possible interaction there. And ATOR, as in ATOR of a statin, can be taken at any time where most other statins have to be taken at bedtime. So that's an important tidbit here. Of course, as always, we want to educate our patients about non-pharmacological pharmacological measures to improve their whatever their disease process is, in this case, the elevated lipid panel. So we want to advise them to improve their diet, decrease a diet high in animal products and avoid alcohol, as well as increase exercise and stop smoking, which are all very important risk factors for coronary artery disease. And also statins are contraindicated in pregnancy and lactation, which is why we need to make sure that the, pers that the patient has a reliable method of birth control when they are put on this medication or if they decide that they would like to become pregnant, then to advise them to come off the medication and of course talk with their provider about the details here. Thanks for watching this video about atorvastatin and also check out the other medications in the top 10 list. And I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained.